Good morning guys, so it's currently 7.45 a.m. I hope you can hear me properly. I am in Koh Lanta in Thailand. Yesterday I got the horrible news that my Instagram account has been deactivated and honestly it may look like I'm smiling now but inside my heart is crying. It really is. It's been such a horrible day yesterday. Today it's still not back. I'm on the way to a meditation session right now so hopefully I can meditate the shit out of this and just start feeling a bit more positive and optimistic about the whole situation. Um, but yeah, once I've done with this meditation session I will get back and let you guys know exactly how it's happened why it's happened and what I'm doing to try to get my account back so I'll speak to you guys in a bit Hey guys, so I'm back from the meditation session now, feeling a lot fresher and a lot better than I was feeling earlier. Honestly, that was like the best meditation session I've ever done. It was just so relaxing and calming and so yeah, I'm feeling a lot fresher. So. I just had a bit of breakfast and now I'm here. Still got no Instagram account. <laughs> Yesterday I was dealt with the horrible news that my Instagram account was disabled. It happened just as I was about to get on a boat from Koh Phi Phi to Koh Lanta. So as you can imagine, I was just like stressing out and my first kind of reaction was to just stress. But surprisingly, I wasn't as stressed as I thought I'd be so straight away I was just trying to get onto Instagram contacting them finding out what had happened at first I was getting like no indication as to what was wrong it was just saying user not found I asked Janae to check and on her phone as well it was saying the same thing user not found so I was just thinking what is going on I was constantly trying to log in log in nothing was showing so I was just kind of freaking out at first um, and then finally I tried to log in and it let me know that my account has been deactivated due to me impersonating somebody. So this is clearly linked to a fake account that I was notified of like a couple weeks ago. This girl told me that I've got a fake account, I seen it, I asked my followers to report it which everyone did. And now somehow they've managed to get my account deactivated. I was on Google, on YouTube, just looking at ways that I can reactivate my account. I have tried to contact Instagram multiple times already. Been getting automated responsive, but nobody has given me a direct answer as of yet. I'm still waiting. And then it has to come up with an option to say learn more. So on this option, you could then appeal it, which I did straight away got a res an automated response from them saying to fill out this form, send a picture of your passport, etc., which I did straight away. So then I tried another method, which I'll leave in the description box. And that was basically, you type in that your account has been hacked or that there's something wrong with your account and you need to identify yourself. Then they send you another automated email, just sending you a link to a code. So I have tried this now three times. <laughs> So I've had three different codes, I've tried, I've sent them an email, I've still got nothing back. They've sent me a code, so I've got the code on the paper, um, along with my name and my username. Janae's about to take the picture for me, but yeah, it's like I have to do a full-on mugshot for Facebook. <laughs> So this is my mugshot guys, hopefully this works. Apparently it can take up to 24 hours for them to even see that but I just thought let me try to be as persistent as possible. So I've tried that three times, I've created a whole new email address because apparently if you send too many emails they'll register that as spam and they just won't accept it. So I've tried to do that and yes still no Instagram account so I'm going to keep you guys updated. For now, I have created a new Instagram, so I'd really appreciate if you guys follow that. And that new account is, I'll leave it here and I'll also leave it in the description box. So please, please follow that new account. It would really help me out. Um, so yeah, as it stands, I still don't have an Instagram account. How I'm feeling is, to be honest, not as bad as I thought I'd feel. Like I'm a lot more relaxed than I thought I'd be. And I think it's just because I know that it's been disabled, it's not yet fully deleted and I know there's still a chance of me getting it back 
so I'm just trying to be as patient as possible. Apparently this can take up to four weeks. I'm hoping it doesn't take that long, but I'm just trying to be as persistent as possible, emailing them multiple, multiple times and seeing what happens. At the minute, I'm just thinking, it's more of, I don't care about the followers, it's just more the memories I've built. I've been working on this brand for the past four years now. So all the pictures I've built up, all the memories, they're just pretty much gone. And yeah, it's been a huge wake up call for me just to make me realize that you can't just rely on these platforms. You need to be making a sustainable platform for yourself on a website or a mailing list. So that is what I'm working on now. So yeah. That's where we're up to. I'll keep you guys updated with what happens next. But hopefully I get my Instagram account back. If you've got any advice on what I can do, then please leave me a comment to let me know. And for now, if you can just please like my new page, I'd really appreciate it. Thank you. Bye.